Well, hello, hello, hello. Of course, I get text messages and I have to sneeze right as I go live. Hello, Instagram. Hello, Facebook. Hello, YouTube. I have been intending to go live. Remember a few about a month ago, I was trying to go live every day at noon and 8 p.m. And then that went down to just sometime between noon and 8 p.m. And then now it's it's like if I can get once or twice a week, I'm doing great. So um, it uh, who would have who would have thought that uh, life as an uh, an artist webcasting could ever be so busy? But thank goodness, thank goodness that uh, you guys are out there and you love to draw and you're enjoying learning to draw with me. I am so grateful because it gives me purpose and it gives me something to do that's productive and that hopefully it's inspiring you all out there. I've been spending most of my days on Zoom and working on my uh, my upcoming book coming out, but I'm going to get, uh, this will be a, a, a longer broadcast, probably close to an hour because I'm going to do a bunch of drawings for my new book. Um, and Anna says, I got, I, I just got this book and I'm also doing, oh, so you got my book, you can draw in 30 days. That's wonderful. That's from Ann and uh, Mason and Richard on my, uh, I believe you're on my YouTube channel and on my Facebook channel over here. Oh, I have Richard's on both of them. That's wonderful. Thanks. And I'm going to send a text out to Melody and let's say, say hi to her. She's always at, she always helps me monitor my rooms and texts and everything. Uh, uh, I'm going to send her a note. I forgot to send her a note live now. Uh, want to join in? She's terrific out there in California. She sure helps me a lot with all my uh, uh, technical stuff. So thank you to Melody if you decide to join. We have John Kim on. Before I start my program, we have, uh, hey, Robert Newstad from Chicago. Hi, Robert. He always comes on Instagram. Robert, you are so cool. Well, whenever Robert comes out, I got to show this. Robert uh, and I co-created the TV series Imagination Station, and it's been uh, aired. It's Right now, it's on Amazon Prime. And with this series, Robert, there's my one Emmy. I have it. I show it at, like, at least once a week. Robert has his, his uh, I believe he has five Emmys. I believe Robert has 17 Emmys in his house. You watch it on Amazon Prime. It's, it's really cool. Now, some of you might remember me from the Secret City right here. And I just, oops, I keep on hitting the Instagram camera. Sorry, guys, on Instagram. It's right in the way of my, uh, but um, Zebtron is my co-star from 1985. He's in Harrisburg, uh, Pennsylvania, and he comes on once a month onto my Fine Arts Academy. I'm going to be drawing tonight, but I'll just tell you what's, what we did today, today with my Fine Arts Academy, um, I webcast every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Central Time at 10, at 11 in the morning. Um, during the week, I have special guests at 12, at 1, at 2, at 4 o'clock, and then I come back at 6.30 at night, and I'm going to show you what we did tonight. And if, you, if anybody out there wants a free week link, send me a note. I'd, I'd be happy to send you a free, a free Zoom link. Uh, for a whole week. I'll send you a link for the whole week. How's that? If you'd like that, I'll send you the, the link for the whole week. Uh, here's Jacqueline. Uh, awesome. Uh, Mark, great. Your guide is to motivate my middle school students. Well, well, Jacqueline, why don't you send me? Jacqueline, you're in a school. I'll send you guys two weeks for your classroom of live, uh, of live uh, art academy lessons. Send me an email. Here's my email right here. I have one right here. Here's my email. And if you're in a school classroom at a school, send me an email, mark and I'll send you guys two weeks of like 20 to 30 hours of live lessons every week. I just, I would love to do it. I'd want to get hundreds and I, I can have 500 uh, logins per class on Zoom. I'm one of those professionals on Zoom now. And um, hey, Melody, she's there. Hi, Melody. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Melody. I, I just a shout out to Melody. She's been volunteering for months, four months now, coming on five days a week with me, helping me out. All that uh, living on the edge of the fire hazard up there in Northern California, ready to, to evacuate for weeks and months. 
bless you and your husband, Mike, and thank you for for uh, hanging out with me and helping the kids out so much. The, the kids love you and the families love you. Thank you. All right, so uh, there's my website. If you want a uh, two weeks, Jacqueline, you send me an email. Uh, Fatima, I'm so glad you're here tonight. Fatima is one of my students, and she she's always she always logs on. Hey, Fatima, you're going to like tonight's lesson. I'm going to do a whole bunch of pegs, lots of postings pegs for my new book. Uh, Robert, to be in your live, he, Robert Newstead sent me, a, uh, how does that work? Let me see. I want to view it. Go live with Robert. Can let me see. I'll go live with Robert here. Let me see. I don't, I don't know. I've never, I've never, uh, Robert said, let's draw. Stop talking. Robert Newstead, you declined Robert. Well, you sent me a note. All right. We're going to draw. Robert is great. He always pushes me to, to start drawing. All right. Uh, quick note. If you like what you're doing tonight, please sign up for my Fine Arts Academy. I appreciate your support. If you can't come every day, please consider signing up for my Draw 3D. It's 500 recorded lessons, and it comes with Mighty Mondays, which is uh, four, five, sometimes six hours of art lessons live webcasting. Okay, is there a book? Uh, is there a book where we practice cones? Uh, Melody's asking. Uh, the my my you can this one. I practice some cones in this one. All right, let me get to this. Let me show what we did tonight. Put this aside. I hope you guys all have this book. This is an awesome book. This is the book that got me over a million, a million books printed. Yay for me, right? Yay me. I've got a million. Uh, Mills, good evening, Mills, for coming on to Facebook. Hello, Donovan on Facebook. Hello, Mills on YouTube. And Robert's, okay, Robert, I'm going to draw, I promise. Robert, my... My coach, my executive producer, always says, hey, get to the drawing. Enough chit-chat. I love you, brother. I've known Robert. <laughs> ah, now it goes to a story. Robert was was actually in my wedding, uh, oh, my gosh, 20, 30 years ago. I've known – well, Robert and I have been knowing each other since Maryland Public Television, since I was doing The Secret City. Um, that was back in 1985. So I love you, brother. All right, so this is what we did tonight. I did a tribute to my brother, Steve – Kistler, he was surfing Steve, and a tribute to my brother Carl Kistler. He was a reading, he's a bookworm, so I made him a, a book reading praying mantis. Uh, this morning we did the mermaid and the clam and the marshmallow fish, and then we drew. Uh, this morning we drew a dolphin jumping and a fish, and and then uh, Emily Albright was here tonight today too. Every day, every day we have. Uh, I have different exciting things happening. Let me show you. I'll show you a little bit about what uh, what we're talking about here. This month, these are all my guest artists. Like I'm feeling the pressure because Robert's on. He wants me to wants me to draw. But I just got to show you this. This month, this this is our schedule for October. Look at all these amazing guest artists. Uh, we have William Foster, who's going to be uh, talking about. He's ground control for the International Space Station at Mission uh, Houston Control. Houston Mission Control. He's going to be on live for the hour webcast. I'll be drawing the International Space Station, and I'm going to have William Foster talking about the space station. We had Clive Goddard come on. He was on a, a, earlier in the week, an artist from um, from Oxford, England, and he's an amazing illustrator. You can see a lot of his stuff on my website, markkessler.com. Brandon Ray's coming toward the end of the month. He's a, a world-famous uh, paper animator. He's worked with... Uh, Disney with Lego, with uh, Sesame Street. Uh, he's just, he's worked with everybody animating. Joel Gorey, my co-host, my co-star from Secret City, teaches theater and drama. He's been on, he did another feature just a week ago. Coming up next week, Erin Brown, a very, very talented writer, uh, international speaker. She, she writes and talks about uh, in, in, inspiring yourself and inspiring your children through the power of the written word, through writing. And I think writing and drawing go hand in hand. Blythe Zimmel, she comes every week now. Every Wednesday, she teaches children and adults the joy of photography, professional photography with your smartphone. She's on every Wednesday. I can't, oh my goodness, I can't recommend her enough. Her sister, Lauren Taylor, she's been, uh, comes at Wednesday at four o'clock every Wednesday. And she teaches incredible art history, art application, art uh, uh, theory, art um, skills, just amazing. Drawing, painting. 
Emily Albright, internet sensation, YouTube sensation, one of my past students. So proud of her. And I just, and she inspires me so much. And she's coaching me so much on using Zoom. So that's, this is all in October. Go to my website. You can see the color coordinated, very organized map. Are you totally impressed, you guys? Are you totally impressed? Uh, hey, Robert, I'm done. now I'm getting to the drawing finally. So today, these are this is what I want to draw. I got to see all these little spots. Part right here is going to look like this. This is lesson eleven, and let me show you the samples. Uh, what I'm doing tonight is I'm working. I know I've been working on this for a year. I'm working on the You Can Draw in Thirty Second book. All right, it's the third book. You've seen, you you've seen You Can Draw in Thirty Days, right? You've seen that one. And you seen you can draw in 30 minutes. All right, there's the second book of it. Okay, look at this. It's back when it had 750,000. Now there's over a million. Awesome. Well, now I'm working on the, the third, this the third in this. You can draw in 30 seconds. And I'll have to say, I honestly think I've enjoyed this. This has been the most fun, but the most painful, the most rewarding, but the most anxiety-filled, stressful, but the most joyful book to write. But it's taken so long for, for me to finish it, navigating COVID and my kids and, um, you know, just life and the trying to – and then Zooming all day and blah, blah, blah. So anyways, so here's a, here's one lesson here. Here's one lesson here. Thank, uh, I'm not complaining. I'm just – I'm so thankful that I have – I keep busy, right? Thank goodness I love what I do. Thank goodness. You know, I hope you guys are doing something that you love to do because it certainly helps – get through this this COVID nightmare. Now, so here's a sample lesson. This is one one sample, uh, the ball, right? A simple sphere, just a ball. And then there's, see, there's one page, see? Then I, so I break each lesson into four components, the, the lesson, and then I deconstruct that shape. And I explain to you, who would think I could go on for page pages and pages of drawing a sphere? I can, I guarantee you. So there's a couple pages of information called the deconstruction phase. And then I go into the timed challenge level, which is this right here. So I have you go through different timed levels to build up your drawing instinct and your drawing confidence and your, and your drawing enthusiasm and your positive mindset. So these are all different timed, and you go through these times. There's 99 levels all together. And then in the book, I, I put pa a few pages of embellishments, and then I'm going to put – I added a page per lesson of the students, uh, you guys drawing with me on Zoom. But what I'm doing tonight is I'm working on the, the pencil level for the PEG lesson. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's the here's the 12 chapters in the book, the, the 12 drawings, and we're working on le level 11, the PEG level. And each one of these 12 less lessons have many, many sub-levels under them. And so I'm going to be drawing all these drawings that get stuck into this cat chart here. Look at that. That's going to be a that's going to be a, a fun one. So that's what I'm doing tonight. It's only taking me 13 minutes. Robert's probably just rolling over cringing in Chicago that I've taken 13, 14 minutes to start to draw. But hey, you know what? When you have the gift of gab, celebrate it. All right. So you guys, I hope some of you are going to join me. Uh, draw and I'm gonna draw here, so I gotta move the cameras up. Sorry, sorry, Instagram cameras. And whenever I move, I I seem to bump Instagram. I'm gonna move these down just a bit so I'm more comfortable. You guys gotta see this. Look at I got Facebook camera here, and then I have Inst uh, Instagram phone over that way on the arm, and then I have uh, YouTube right here too. And I think everybody can see pretty good. All right, so we're going to be doing a bunch, a bunch of these pegs. So we're going to start, we'll start with a lesson level. Uh, you know what? Before I do anything, right in the middle, just for your sake, I want to do a little a reference cube. Okay, what we're going to do, the, the peg is all about learning these four positions. This is the entire purpose of this peg lesson is learning these four positions. And let's just draw a reference cube. Put your finger in the middle. I'm going to zoom these in so you can see it better. I'm going to zoom these in so you can see it better. And if you're going to stick with me, we're going to draw. We're going to draw for uh, probably about an hour, and it's all going to be on this one page, and it's going to be based on the drawing direction cube. We're going to draw this. We're going to draw that cube right there, and then we're going to draw drawings all around it, and it's going to be based on these four dr drawing directions that 
most artists use most of the time. See, so follow this line right here. See that? Draw that line. Doesn't have to be perfect. Does not have to be perfect. Just draw uh, and relax, enjoy it. And this is usually where I bring a puppet in here. Here, I'll do. Go ahead. Do you have a license to flop and stress is on the bus. Don't stress. Stress is on the bus. Someone type in. Someone type in beep 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 beep. Someone type in beep 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 beep. Stress is on the bus, you guys. No worries. Stress is on the bus. You have your license to flop. You have to. It, failure is an important part of drawing. All right, so we're going to be using direction southwest, direction northwest, direction southeast, and direction northeast. These are the four positions that we're going to use to draw all of these different peg levels. Stress is on the bus. So I'm just sketching it. Mine's not perfect at all, but I'm going to get the general idea of these, of these lines. You see, I'm going to use these lines here. I'm going to be using those angles. So I'm going to start up here and put two dots straight across from each other. And let's draw a four shortened circle. And I'm going to draw the first peg very lightly. Come down here. All right, draw that line. And then um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, coming across here, and I watch this. From this point right here, I'm going to draw a line coming up in direction northeast. So that's going to be my guideline for direction northeast. I'm going to draw the four shortened circle right here. And then I'm going to draw the tube, a peg going right through there. And I'll curve the back. Now, I'm going to go kind of fast through these ones because I'm going to see how many I can get through tonight. But this will be that the first level. I'm going to, I want you to learn how to draw this confidently on your own in 30 seconds. This is, the, this is, um, this is level. Let's see. Where is that? Where is my chart here? This is... Okay, the peg, where's the peg? The peg is the silver. It's the silver pencil level. The silver pencil level. And then this one, of the silver pencil level 11, this is level 1. And this is 30 seconds. There's a 30-second limit to draw that. Now, why do we have a, a time limit? It's because I want you guys, I want you to... to Build up your positive mindset that you can do it, your positive drawing instinct, your confidence and your enthusiasm. What it does, it builds a success wheel, a perpetuating, self-perpetuating success wheel. You practice, become confident, your drawings get better, you enjoy it more, you're motivated to practice like a snowball. It's a self-perpetuating success wheel. And that's the whole point of what – and, and uh, uh, the whole point of these is to build up your confidence. I just had an idea that I just want to remind you guys, if you enjoy this tonight, these lessons, share them. Share them, would you? And, hey, if you want to get that the, the uh, free Zoom hour, that I have several hours that I'll send you. Like tonight I did that praying mantis and the surf and Steve. Send me an email, and I'll send you a, 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 a no password required a, a link to that recording. It's a 45-minute recording. I also have an awesome shark lesson that we did last week. And if you want to get that free recording, send me an email. Say, hey, we want the Surf and Steve Praying Mantis link. Or, hey, Mr. Mark, I want the uh, I want the uh, um, shark lesson. So that I have those if you want them. Hey, Shifty, how are you? Good to see you. Joseph and Sky Jam Rodrigo on Instagram. Good to see you guys. I hope Robert's new is still with me. Find them all and Melody and John Kim and Ann. Thank you for being with me on YouTube. So great to see you. And on Facebook. Who do I have on Facebook? I have Melody, Richard, and Donovan. And uh, Emily. Hello. Oh, Emily. My, my niece, Emily. Wow. My niece. What, what is that? You're, you're my sister's sister's daughter. What is that? Someone help me with that. Emily, it's so great to see you, sweetie. Tim Decker on! Tim Decker! Oh my gosh, it's great to have Tim Decker. You guys got to see his artwork. Tim Decker, I know, I'm finally drawing. That is wonderful. Now, let's go to number two over here. I'm going to go to level two. All right, now, draw, draw the four shortened circle. 
I want to, now we're going to go. Now, look, I'm going to squeeze a whole bunch of these in here, and Amanda is going to work her magic. So this one is going to have the posts go in the, the opposite direction. It's going to come down here in direction southeast. Okay. So these posts go in. Uh, should You know what I should do? Let me see here. These posts are going up, and I'm going to draw an arrow, and I'll go ahead and write northeast. Right? I think that's what they're titled. Uh, northeast, yes. And then these posts are going to be going up here in northwest. So let's draw that. See, that these are 30 seconds each, right? So I'm going to draw the four short 10. I'm darkening them in here. And I'm darkening them in. I'm going to draw. We're going to erase that in a second. I'm going to curve that. That's contour. That's one of those words. I think you're going to enjoy as these get more and more complicated. Notice how the back post is going to get smaller back here. See, this? these are larger. and This is smaller. And I'm not too worried about being super exact on this because they're going to be shrunk really small. So that's one of the it kind of re relaxes me even more. You know, I know stress on the bus and don't worry about mistakes, but this is going to be in a book, right? It's going to be there forever, for forever and ever. And uh, so I, I do, I do want to make it as sharp as possible. Uh, okay, now I'm shading. I'm shading underneath. I, you know, typical me. The light's always coming from the top, right? I'm going to shade the side over here. And I'm going to have it get lighter and lighter. See, it's dark underneath, but it gets lighter as it comes up. See, it's darker and it gets lighter. Lighter. This is a curved surface. This is one of the important parts of this drawing is that that blended shading. See, it gets lighter as it comes up. All right. Let's see. Gabriel says, hi, do you think uh, the Renaissance Fair for Texas? Well, I am shocked to tell you. I am shocked to tell you, Gabriel, that the Renaissance Festival uh, is happening. I, I'm, uh, I'm absolutely shocked. Shocked, shocked, shocked. And uh, I usually teach the school days at the Texas Renaissance Festival, and I miss it profoundly. I love, love, love teaching school days at the Renaissance Festival. I do. But um, I... Uh, I am, uh, I'm not, obviously, I'm in uh, home isolation through the, for the duration of COVID. I, with my age and my uh, existing health conditions, I'm, I have like a big target on my forehead for COVID. So I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just uh, staying home and Zooming, staying home and trying to do as much as I can here. This is, this was a poem that John, well, this is my mantra from John Wesley. Uh, this uh, do all the good you can by all the means you can and all the ways you can and all the places you can at all the times you can to all the people you can as long as you ever can john wesley i love this and and um my dear friend ed heck in new york took the poem and he put it ed heck he's he's this the, the painter he did one of he's famous for his ducks he did a uh, Commander Mark Duck. I just, I just love him. He's so awesome. All right. So there is level two with the little cash shadow wrapping around there, right? I think I kind of went overkill on that cash shadow. It probably stopped right there. See, that's what we I do. We go light and erase. It's all right. No stress. You can always erase and fix it. All right. <clears throat> what do you mean by a target? Oh, that just means I'm extremely high risk. So I'm just staying. Um, you know, I'm pretty much just, I'm just absolutely isolated, just trying to take care of myself and my family and do as much work as I can over Zoom and just encouraging everybody to be safe. And I love you guys out there. Thank goodness that I'm able to work at home. I am so, uh, so uh, grateful. And I'm so grateful for you guys that you, you're you supporting uh, by buying my books. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. I just can't tell you. And your um and all the people who signed up for my for my um uh, my draw 3D it's been the just I mean I'm I'm I believe I'm giving you guys a wonderful pro program and a wonderful price but uh, you guys I'm getting as much joy and happiness from it as you guys are yeah I guarantee you 
my Draw 3D membership. It comes with hundreds of recorded lessons. It also comes with Mighty Mondays, which is all day Mondays. All day. We have four hours, five hours, six hours, some Mondays, special artists. <clears throat> this is a, a wonderful membership, and I hope you sign up for both. The Fine Arts Academy, we have a lot of great specials right now. We've been going live for two months. We have uh, seven months left, and it's never too late to sign up. Every week is an amazing adventure, you guys. Uh, the Fine Arts Academy, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, live Zoom webcast. These are recorded recorded lessons with all day Mondays, live Zoom. So uh, thank you. I so appreciate your support. All right. <laughs> I hope that answered your question. How much does it cost to sign up? All right. Well, draw3d.com. It's $199 for the whole family for the whole year. You have access to 500 recorded lessons, and you get hours and hours every Monday live for the entire year of your membership. It's, it's a fantastic deal. It works out to be pennies a lesson. And um, my Fine Arts Academy, it is $199 a month per family. Right now, there's a special. It's $99 a month, so that's $1,200 a year. It, we have a special for $600 for the entire year for 12 months. We have a three-month, a six-month, and a one-year special. Or you can just do, uh, uh, if you just want to do evening classes, I have $49 a month. And you go Monday through Friday for 49 bucks just for the evening class for one hour, uh, one hour a night. All right? So if you have kids who want to draw more than that and have uh, access to all the special guests during the day, then you'd want to uh, go for the $99 a month class. Or, you know, that's special. That's a pretty good deal, though, if you think about it. It's like, what, 75% off, $600 one-time payment, and you get a full year of all these lessons. So, uh, well, Shifty, thank you for saying I'm amazing. Yeah, I love my, my pencils here. I'm looking at comments. I'm looking at comments here, looking at comments. Thank you, Tim, for being with us. Thank you, Gabriel, for asking those questions. And... Uh, uh, one number number two is the uh, um, the pegs, and number three number three here. I'm going to draw another post over here. So here, put two dots. I'm going to draw the four shorts in circle. I'm going to draw the vertical line down. Now this one, we're going to get a little more advanced on this one. We're going to do. The rotating post, all right? So I'm going to draw a line coming up here in direction northeast, and then I'm going to draw that post, right? So you guys, we already did this once, right? And then this way, this one, I'm going to draw another post coming down in this way. Now look at the, the post is larger here, and it gets smaller as it moves away. All right, so then we'll kind of block in where those go. Oops, I'm off the camera. Sorry about that. So let's get that more in there. Sorry about that, Instagram and Facebook. Let me move that even further. All right. So now this is level three, and this is northeast and uh, north and northwest, and this is 90 seconds. This is a 90-second level. Okay. All right. Curve this. Is anybody drawing with me out there? I'm curious. If you're drawing with me, tell me tell me where you're drawing from. Tell me what country or state you're from. And what state you're from if you're from uh, America. And uh, I usually get uh, some some of my friends from India and from Dubai logging in. Love to see you guys. And uh, hey, Dr. Snooze. That's funny. Good name. Dr. Snooze. That's very cute. Very clever. I have usually I have to kind of edit the Instagram names. You guys come up with some really edgy names on Instagram, and I can't say it because I have a lot of kids following. So I'll edit a, I'll edit to say uh, a much more truncated, G-rated version of your handles. But I'm not without a sense of humor. <laughs> I'm an adult. I'm a sailor. Truly, I am a sailor. So salty dog. Um, uh, from Ted, Gabriel, I wish, but I can't find my pencil. Gabriel, I can't tell you what a lame excuse that is. That is the lamest excuse. Oh my gosh. I can't, I wish I could draw, but I can't find my pencil. Oh my gosh. I, 
They, I, I love it. The good, there was good try, but, but no, I'm not gonna buy that for a second. Use an ink pen. Use a crown. Use a crown. Use a, a toothpick and dip it in soy sauce. All right, um, Jacqueline, have you ever heard? Have you ever heard of Minnesota? <laughs> Yes, of course. You're you're in the M collection of states. I memorized you in sixth grade. I actually wrote a report about Minnesota in the sixth grade. Michigan and Minnesota, all the M states. I wrote about the M states. Uh, Maryland, uh, Minnesota, and Michigan. Am I missing any? Am I and look? I'm thinking back to my sixth grade report. All the M states. Well, am I missing any? Uh, a North Makota. And uh, California and Morgan, Montana. Oh my gosh, the big sky country. Oh my gosh, I miss Montana. I love Montana. Mississippi. Oh my gosh. I haven't spent much time in, in uh, Mississippi, but I always like spelling it really fast. M I S S I S S I P P I. But Montana is the most beautiful skies. Oh my gosh, Glacier Park. And uh, a white, what is the name? White up there, Whitefish. I did summer camps in Whitefish. I did uh, summer camps in Missoula. One of my favorite books, Smoke Jumpers, is based out of Missoula, written by Jody Picol. <clears throat> the sun comes up here, so we're going to shade opposite. I'm going to shade these. Shade, shade, shade. Making progress. Making progress. I'm doing pretty good, you guys. I'm so tired. Uh, it's almost like 10 p.m. It is. Can you believe it? It's not a shoe. Wait, wait, Gabriel. I'm not shoes. I had it in my backpack, but I can't find it. But those are other shots creative. I might try it. Ah, that's funny. Uh, Gabriel, I'm just giving you a hard time. Uh, I it's it's so frustrating when you can't find a pencil when you want one. And I have been in that position, I guarantee you, on airplanes or or in an Uber, and it's like you have an idea and you want to draw it. I have done. I have actually done some live Facebook, uh, YouTube uh, lessons driving in an Uber. Um, I was on this this kick trying to get a drawing every day done. That's when I did my 199 day book. I actually, actually wrote a book about this. You guys can actually order this from my website. Here's a plug. All the drawings were. This was supposed to be a thousand days of drawing. A thousand days, and I was on. I went 199 days. I never missed a day up till midnight. Whatever time zone I was in, I had to do at least a five minute drawing. Usually they were about 20 minutes, and I went 199 days. And then the 200th day, I got so busy in, uh, with all my artists flying in from around the country for my fine arts camp here in Texas. I got so busy, I forgot to do it, and I was devastated until my all my friends pushed me to put together this book. And it uh, it's such a great book. It's such a wonderful book. And this one, this one right here, this started the whole thing. This whole thing started at the Taj Mahal in India. I went to India, to New Delhi and Bombay Comic Cons. And this is a, a, a brief little story about it. And it's just, it's a wonderful book. Okay. So I hope you guys get it. Now, this, this book, um, if you want, if you want the, the, uh, the hardback, you can purchase it. If you want the uh, the PDF, send me a note. I'll send you a free PDF, okay? How's that? I'll send you a free PDF. And now the lessons that accompany this are on my YouTube. You have to please subscribe to my YouTube. Go to Playlist and go to uh, – um, there's the, the playlist that this is under. I think it's uh, one drawing a day or it's – I think it's – there's different sections. There's like 30 days of drawing and 99 days of drawing. I've got to organize it, but – Go for the one that, that has like 99 lessons in it and that has at least half of this book. I, I I need to take the different playlists and coordinate it. I've been meaning to do that for seven months, but it's uh, I obviously get distracted. All right, <clears throat> let's go. Let's step number four is uh, three. Oh my goodness, this one's intense. Look at this one, it's one, two, three, four. So we're going to double. We're going to double the pegs. All right, so let's do it. This is step four. You guys with me? Let me zoom in here. Let's zoom in. There's, this is going to be intense. I'm going to do it fast and light at first. I'm going to draw this long, tall peg. 
and I'm going to do one peg going this direction in northeast. Then I'm going to do one peg coming down here in north, uh, south, southeast. I'm going to draw another one going up here in northeast, and then I'm going to. I hope I can fit it in here. And one more coming down here. Boy, I'm just going to be able to squeeze that in. All right, so th now this peg, I'm going to draw this peg. Okay, and then I'm going to draw this peg. And it's not going to be perfect, but it's all right. Then I'm going to draw this peg. Going off again in that direction. You see what I'm doing? We're rotating it just with the angle. And then on this one, I'm going to draw this peg going this direction here. That one, look, it disappears. That's all right. It doesn't have to be perfectly placed. So then we start drawing darker. This peg's going in direction north. E. So this one is uh, number four. This is uh, one, two, three, four. It's four pegs rotating between northeast and northwest. This is a three-minute time limit on this one. Back and with you. Hey, Shifty, wonderful. Glad you glad to have you back. And uh, let's see. Terry Parm, hello, Terry. Missouri, Robert. I forgot Missouri. Massachusetts. Donovan, this is, well, we're having a little contest here. I, I forgot four M states. Or I'm so, or aren't I embarrassed? Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Donovan. Uh, Montana, Massachusetts, Missouri. Aren't you guys a plethora of knowledge? Aren't you guys just like little, little fact, fact carrying geniuses? All right, now this peg back here is smaller. It's further away, so I'll cut it off just a little bit. Let's draw that foreshortened circle. Make sure it lines up with this, with your, uh, with your angles here. I'm going to curve this one away. Now it's not. Look at this. This one is steeper. This one's not as steep. But you know what? It's enough. It's enough to to get the point. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. Your drawings just relax. Just chill, man. Chill. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just enjoy it. It does not have to be perfect. Enjoy the process. And uh, you can even, that's what your erasers are here for. This is awesome, by the way. This Emily Albright. Uh, you guys got to check out her videos, uh, Art with Albright on YouTube. She's awesome. She's absolutely awesome. The kids love her. She's a guest. She's a featured artist every Thursday with my art academy. In fact, here she is. She recommended this eraser. Changed my life forever. But she is so cool. She and her husband are friends of mine for a couple years now. Where is my calendar? I'm going to show you pictures of Emily Albright. Oh, here it is. Here's Emily. There she is in the lineup right there. Emily Albright, YouTube internet sensation, art with Albright. A little plug for you, Emily. Draw a four shorts and circle. She just she draws just del delightful uh, drawings, just delightful. A lot of yeah, she, I mean, she can take a, you know, those little dip cups that you get at McDonald's. She did a whole lesson of uh, making little dip cups, and they were they were so cute, they were so great. And then I think she did part of that lesson was uh, chicken McNuggets. She was she did a lesson, dip cups and chicken McNuggets. You know, taking the ordinary everyday things and turning them to fun drawing adventures. All right, so we're getting there, and then I'm 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 gonna really love the erasing part of this. See, I'm really gonna love curve that end here, and then this one. Look at that! I ran out of room, but I got it in there. All right. So did we darken in the detail? Now I'll go through with my wonderful Mono Zero Tombo Elasto Elasto Man Fantastic Incredible Eraser. All right. How many people do we have still drawing? Oh, we have over 17,000 people. Did Mario get his trailer? We, he did. He bought his trailer. But we're, uh, we're postponing the pickup for a little bit of time. But he got his trailer. Thank you, guys. Thank you. He raised over $5,000 on his GoFundMe. Now, you can't donate anymore right now to the GoFundMe. I'm going to start it off again <clears throat> because he raised $5,000. He wants $3,000 more uh, to buy some really awesome equipment. But he's got he got the trailer. He's so excited. And so read his story at GoFundMe. This is my son, Mark. I'm so, I'm so, so Darn, gosh darn proud of him. It's just, he's amazing. He, uh, 
inspires everybody. He's my special ability son that makes dreams come true. One of my personal heroes. <clears throat> you know, he has uh, vision and one eye. And they said when he was growing up, when we adopted him, he was one, um, that he would, you know, he would never be able to, to climb stairs or ride a bike or drive a car or <clears throat> catch a baseball or play basketball. Well, he, that these are the medical professionals, right? His therapist and everything. And I and I we just didn't believe it, man. We knew that he had it in him and he's done them all. He drives driving tractors and he can when he uses a driving, uh, when he drives on a driving lawnmower, he'll, he can steer. Now, this is with one eye. Try closing your eyes for 10 minutes. Try wearing a bandana, which we did with the kids, me and uh, and all the kids. We wore a bandana over one of our eyes for, for 15 minutes to try to have empathy and understanding for what Mario, you know, lives with. And I was just, it, it was hard. It, it, was, it, it, was, it was very hard. Bumping into things, just fifteen minutes, you guys. But he's uh, he can do complicated gr uh, grid patterns with the uh, riding lawnmowers on huge acres of lawn, and uh, you know, like the football field. That's his dream is to to mow a football field. And um, and then here I'm shading these now. I'm just having fun, just ch chatting and shading, drawing. We're practicing pegs tonight. Practicing pegs. I know that the uh, this might have to be two part. Uh, so uh, yeah, he he runs up in stairs. He can mow. He has a he can drive a tractor. He can shoot, make baskets, throw and catch baseballs. Uh, Melody saying Mario is my eyesight buddy. Because Melody is visually impaired also, and so she has a lot of uh, kindred spirit there with Mario. Thank you, Melody, for sharing that. Thank you, Melody. Here, let's shade down here. I just love you guys' comments here. Uh, uh, that's right, Mr. Blanchard. I agree with you. Here, let's shade dark down here and get lighter. And is anybody drawing with me? Someone, if you're drawing with me, let me know. Or if you're just kind of sitting there waiting for the next uh, crazy thing I say. Fatima's probably waiting for me to start singing again because I always sing the most ridiculous songs in class. Oh, Mills is drawing. Wonderful. We have one person drawing. He will get it. No. Uh, oh, it's a bat with now. Okay, great. Thank you. Hey, we have Apollo on tonight. We have Rage Fire on. We have Galena on on Instagram. Look at all these Instagram. That's wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for drawing with me on Instagram, you guys. All right. So we have uh, this is level 11, and we have in level 11, we have achievement one, achievement two, achievement three, achievement four. These are all time 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 90 seconds. And this one is three minutes. Three minutes. And then we go to level five. Now, level five is a whole. There's a whole nut. This is this is crazy. Now watch this. Two dots. Now we're going to be do, working on. Um, put your finger in the middle. Put a dot above and below your finger. Now we're going to be working on a square post. All right. So I'm going to kind of change this up a bit. All right. And these are time. Now this back to uh back to thirty seconds. So this one I want it to go right about there. So we're going to draw the post, the top of the post. Look at this. I'm going to draw that line. goes right through there. And then there's this post. You see, that's a foreshortened post. And it goes right through there. And now I'm going to kind of cheat this over just a bit. I don't, I don't want to have a, a, a congruent line. Uh, so I'm going to – congruent line means it would be exactly the same as that corner. Now, I don't want that, that that to happen, so I'm going to cheat it out just a bit. I think I'll make this one just a little wider, so it'll come out here. And does that make sense, you guys? I wanted to see how that – I'm going to zoom this in so you can see what I'm talking about here, and I'll zoom this in more so you can see what I'm talking about. Let me see here if I can do it. I'm making it too light. Sorry about that, guys. 
Uh, let's zoom this in if I can get it. No. Nope. There we go. You see this this that little bit right there, that little tiny corner. I just wanted it to miss. That's I wanted to avoid. I have a whole chapter about uh, avoiding congruent lines in my book. You could draw in 30 days. Well, at least a whole page, not a whole chapter, but a substantial amount of, of, of reasoning that why I do that. So this is just one angle. There it is. Boom. All right. So there is level five. There's level five. And level five is 30 seconds. Little notes for Amanda. And this is in, uh, this is going up here in Northeast. Square pegs northeast. Just two of them. Two square pegs and a post. Let's shade this on the side here. I see a darken in the edge. And uh, shade, shade, shade. Oh, John, uh, look at it. Jacqueline's drawing with me. Thanks. Thanks, Jacqueline. This is, I'm, I'm like uh, getting, uh, getting, uh, pho I'm photographing two birds with one. Camera and said, I don't want to say I'm killing two birds because we need all the birds out there to take care of the planet. So I'm not killing any birds. We're 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 photographing two birds with one camera instead of two two birds with one stone. How's that for for trying to be creative and not thrashing any of those feathered friends of ours? All right, put that cast shadow on the ground. Uh, that's about it for this one. I just want to put a little shadow here. I know you don't have to, but I do. All right, so that's now. Now we go to level six, which is reverse, right? Which makes sense. So I'm going to make sure I have room. I'm going to put two dots here. I don't know if I'll have room. I'm going to have to move it over. I might have to get a new piece of paper, but I'm trying to squeeze. I'm going to move this one over here like this. Down above and below. And I sure I know this is bouncing a lot on Instagram. That's the one thing. Two ducks taste so good. I agree. I do agree with you there. So where's where's the uh, consistency? No, no, save the birds. But oh, the ducks are so good. Peking duck. I know. I know. I know. Here we go. Now I'm going to reverse direction. I'm going to put a peg coming out from about right here. See, I'm going to lower it down so I can have more room. I want to put this peg here coming out, following the following the directions. I'm looking back up here. And I'm just scribbling out. I'm going to scribble it. Just scribble it. I'm following the lines, following the guidelines. It goes through, and this one's going to go through. You can barely see that one there. And so there. Now, this one is going to be square pegs in north west and this one is 30 seconds no 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 that's there's no way not 30 seconds this is 60 seconds there's no way 30 seconds is around the square is longer so i'm gonna look i just changed the rules this is 60 seconds this is six i gotta be i gotta be realistic for you guys 30 seconds that's great John Kins, love my singing. Well, thank you, John, but I'm not going to sing tonight because I am bound and determined to finish this. I'm getting so close to the book being done, I just, I can taste it. I can taste it. I'm getting so close. I'm getting so, so close. All right, we're getting, are we getting close to the hour limit on Instagram? We're at uh, 49 minutes. Someone, someone give me alert. Melody, would you text me on my cell phone when I get to 50, 58 minutes and I'll stop Instagram and I'll restart it. We'll do a two. I'm going to, I'm going to go over an hour because I got to, got some more of these to do. I got a little more to do. Let's see here. Of course, I'm being optimistic. Maybe I'll see if I get one more level. How's that? All right, now, so there it is. Do you guys like it? You, you're all good. Oh, the frame, good. Thank you, good. I'm reading the comments. Uh, Melody sent me a text. Thank you, Melody. And um, no stress, no need to. That's right, Steve. Well, the new big event, but 
Uh, you absolutely get. I am targeting Steve. Uh, I have over two hundred uh, folks who have purchased, pre-purchased the. Uh, you can draw in thirty seconds, and I hope to. I hope to have it done in two weeks. Um, but I've been saying that for six months. But if I, 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 I absolutely need to get these shipped in November. So that's my goal. So the answer is yes. Um, I'm going to do everything I can to get this new book. Uh, if you guys pre-order it now, it's on the website. If you pre-order it now, you get an autographed version, um, or you get a, a one that's illustrated on the inside cover. If you want some of these original illustrations, if you want it, it would like this illust, illust this original right here. Make a hundred dollar donation to. Uh, uh, my imagination initiative. Make a one-time donation. Go to markkessler.com. Go to nonprofit. Make a one-time donation for hundred bucks, and I'll and I'll send you this original of uh, this whole page. How's that? You get the original drawing of this live, and it helps out. What what the money for the imagination initiative? What we're using for it is uh, a we're doing a, a bunch of the virtual assemblies for. Lower income schools. I'm going to be donating that through the nonprofit live webcast, and we're also uh, I'm, we're trying to recruit your help, you guys out there. Um, if you know of any families who are have children that are going through medical treatment at a children's hospital, please uh, send me an email. I will gladly send them a family a full scholarship for Draw3D.com for my Fine Arts Academy for Draw3D.com. I would love to, uh, just the power, the life-affirming power of the visual arts, the life-inspiring power of the visual arts to help the children in treatment go, uh, and adults that are going through medical treatment at the hospital. You, you have anybody uh, that's going through treatments in the hospitals that would like to uh, draw with me to distract from the tr discomfort of the treatments, please send me an email. I would love, part of our mission, part of our purpose is to, Again, you know, like I said, do all the good we can. So, um, so please send me an email. All right, thank you so much. Um, all right, I need to know. Listen, let's say you don't know anybody, any family children's hospitals, but let's say you know an administrator or a doctor or uh, nurses at the children's hospital. Let them know that I'm offering uh, scholarships and and uh, you know, send them my link. Send them the. My, my free Zoom link of the shark lessons or my free Zoom link of the praying mantis lessons. Send them, the, send them a link to this uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube post. Send them the link. And, uh, and uh, we can get a bunch of kids scholarships, a bunch of families scholarships. I can have what's so cool. The, the Zoom, I love Zoom. I can have up to 500 people. And I've, I've, the most I've had so far with the school was 260 uh, families, kids, families, school classrooms on. It was a blast. We did a, a, a live school assembly. And uh, if you're from an elementary school and you want us to might want me to do a live webcast, uh, send me an email and uh, I'll send you a, a, a link to one of my recorded school webcasts. And you could share it with your PTA, your school administration group. Love to, love to do it. I just I enjoy it so much. All right, so there's there's our uh, there's our pages. There is the page. That's the beginning. Now I have a lot more to do, and it's ten fifteen. Um, I think I'm going to take a break now. If I get uh, if I have the energy, I'll come back on. If not, I'll continue tomorrow. I hope tomorrow Friday night special. But I've got to do, look, I've got to do the arches down here, and i got to do these more advanced peg lessons. So there we go. We made some great progress today. Let me zoom out and see all these. And uh, we almost made the hour. I hear all the saying we're going to go past an hour, but I'm tired. Woo, I'm tired. Good job, you guys. That was awesome. Good job. Remember. Sign up for my Fine Arts Academy. We have artists coming from all over the world, really, from Scotland and from England and from Dubai. And uh, Help me out with my campaign for children's hospitals. 
If you're a school, send me a note. I'd love to do a webcast with your school. Attitude of gratitude. I love it that you guys, please consider signing up for the Fine Arts Academy or sign up for Draw 3D with a one-time donation to my imagination initiative. I'll send you that original drawing. And if you want to order your own copy, pre-order the copy that I am kicking dust. I'm kicking dust to get it done and shipped in November so you have it before Christmas. 30 seconds. Go to my website and pick it up here, okay? Uh, you know what, Fatima, I was thinking about uh, coming back on, but realistically, no. I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm going to go and rest and chill. Thank you, Robert. Can you draw the globe? Uh, are, am I going to do an auction at Christmas this year? T Terry's asking me. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It was uh, uh, I, I try to cut you on things I'm really good at, and I put so much effort and time in last year's Christmas auction. <laughs> I spent, I must have spent uh, a couple thousand dollars trying to make sure that the, the auction was going to pull off, and, and, I, and, and I made like six hundred dollars so it's a money losing event for me i'm just not really good at that kind of stuff so the answer to that is i don't know i had a lot of fun i enjoyed it but if i can figure out how to do it effectively maybe get one of you guys to volunteer who to to pull it off for me i, I would love that recruit your help all right guys listen thank you for your, your questions thanks for hanging out with me thank you for drawing with me attitude of gratitude for all your support i really appreciate it I hope you guys uh, do these drawing lessons. Share it with your friends. And let me end. I'll say goodbye to uh, YouTube first. YouTube has ended. I'll say goodbye to